Remember what we have discussed in the last class? Kono. Remember what we have discussed in the last class? What we have discussed in the last class? Proc content. Why be the proc contents procedure? Why? To see the variable attributes in the uh, other than the log window, sir. So if you want to see metadata or a descriptor information of a data set, we use a proc contents procedure. What the diff what the basic procedure that we can write? Proc contents run. Proc contents semicolon run. If I write the proc contents semicolon run, what will happen? Recent data set. So it prints the contents information for the recently created data set of default library. And by default, what information do you get in the output window? Your tables, sir. Three tables. What are the three tables you will get? Data, data set summary, median depend. We are going to have data set summary. Engine or host dependent information, and you will get alphabet list of variables, alphabetical list of variables, and its attributes. But if you want to get a contents information for a, a specific data set, what is the option you should write? Data is equal to data, data is equal to data set, name. and then. If you want to get a short list of all your variables, what the option should write? Uh, Pra contents data set name and uh, var name. You should write a short. But if you want to get both alphabetical list and uh, creation order, what is the option you should write? No, you should write position. position. But if you want to get only creation order, and short and where no. short and where no. If you want to see index information, what we should do? If you want to see indexes information. What option should write? Syntax. But if you want to see contents information of the complete data library, all library name dot underscore all underscore. But if you do not want to have a complete information, if you want to have only list of files. Underscore all underscore view. Oh, yes, no descriptions. If you want to see only data sets information, mem mem type is equal to data. If you want to see only catalogs information, how to calculate size of a data set?
data is 250 plus data page, page size into number of pages. In the last class, we have completed PROC contents processor. And in today's class, we will discuss one of the very, very important utility processor, which is a PROC sort. Why we use the PROC set processor? PROC sort processor is useful to rearrange observations of a data set. of a data set based on based on by variable values proc sort is useful to rearrange observations of a data set based on by variable values and what is this rearrangement how we can rearrange by default we use ascii method all the observations are going to get rearranged based on the ASCII order. Anybody knows what you mean by ASCII order? American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Understand? American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So this is a default order. All our keyboards, our records will arrange according to this ASCII order only. And how this ASCII order is going to be? According to this ASCII order, we are going to have a few special characters. Then we are going to have 0 to 9. Then we are going to have a few more special characters. Then we are going to have capital A to capital Z. Then we are going to have a few special characters. Then we are going to have small A to small Z. And then we are going to have, again, few special characters. So this is ASCII order. Remember? I told you we have a processor called collate. By using the collate processor, we can see the ASCII order. Remember, during the character functions, I discussed about the collate. You can see ASCII order. You can see EBC DAC order. Embedded binary coded decimal interchange code. So by using these, by using that function, we can see the ASCII order. So special character zero to nine. Again, special characters A to Z. Then some few special characters small A to small Z. And then we are going to have again few special characters. Understand? So if you want to rearrange observations yes. of any, yes. Yes. yes screen not okay. visible. Not visible. But I'm sharing screen, no? Visible, sir. So if you want to rearrange observations of a data set, now we are going to use a proc sort processor. Okay. Now I am writing how to write a proc sort processor. If you want to write a proc sort processor, this is the simplest process that we can write. Proc sort data is equal to which data set you want to sort. Data is equal to you should write the data set name. Data is equal to I want to sort, you know, say for example, class data set. But uh, you know, where we have this class just, you know, if I say data is equal to class, that means so which library it is, it is going to check? Work library. But do we have a class data in the work library? No. 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 First of all, I'm creating a data set called class in the work library. I'm writing data class set stars help dot class. Then keeping a semicolon, now writing the statement. Now, if I give this program, yes, we are going to have a class data set in the work library. Okay, class data set in the work library. Then now I'm writing a sorting proc sort data is equal to data set name. Now by which variable you want to rearrange observations of class data set? I want to rearrange observations based on the sex variable. Before that, I will show you class data set. Now this is the class data set that we have in the work library. Now we have a first observation, Joyce, female, Louis, female, Alice, female, then we have a James male, Thomas male, and John male. And then we have, you know, out of 19 observations, 
we have you know both male students and female student has been mixed together but now i what i want to do i want to rearrange all these 19 observations based on gender based on sex but can you see what values that we have in the sex variable we have f and m in alphabetical order in a to z order which will come in first f or m f f now if i execute this prox sort processor you know what will happen all the female students records will come first then after that now we are going to have all the male students information understand this one so now the all the 19 observations are going to be get rearranged based on the sex now we are going to have sorry we are going to have you know 19 9 females and then we are going to have monica keep your keep your video off now we are going to have nine females first then we are going to have a 10 males see now i'm selecting this program i'm executing this program now observations in the class data set are going to be get rearranged and after the re rearrangement and this is how we are going to have can you see we have all the nine females first then followed by all the 10 male observations so all the 19 observations has been rearranged but unfortunately you know what is going to happen here since i am writing proc sort data is equal to class data set within the same data set the data will be get rearranged the data will be get rearranged so because of this you lose the original data but if you do not want to lose the original data if you want to have original data as it is in the original data set but if you want to have a sorted data in a new data set then what we should do we are going to write an option called out is equal to data set so now i am writing like this one i am writing proc sort data is equal to sas help dot class and then out is equal to class one you know what is going to happen now the original data which is present in the sas help dot class will be get sorted and after the sorting the new data will come into which variable now the new data which come in which data set now the new data the rearranged data will come into a new data set called class 1 that means it will create a new data set now but how i want to do that one i want to do it by sex so i'm writing the sex me right ipudu original data set original data set ane untundandi and the sorted data anta kuda ekkada ostundandi ipudu class in the class 1 now see if i select the program and execute the program now we have a class 1 in the class 1 now the data has been arranged rearranged based on the gender now this time i am writing a program like this one i am writing proc sort data is equal to sas help dot class then i am writing out is equal to class 2 and i am writing i want to rearrange the data based on the gender variable sorry based on the age variable you know about the age variable right age is a numerical variable if it is a numerical variable by default the data will be rearranged in ascending order it will be rearranged in ascending order so what do you mean by ascending order which means that the lowest value observations will come first and highest value observation will go last now i'm selecting the program executing the program yes i have a class 2 data set in the class 2 data set now can you see we have you know youngest person 11 years first then 12 years then 13 then 14 15 and then 16 understand this one so if it is a character variable the data will be arranged based on alphabetic order a to z if it is a numerical variable the data will be arranged in ascending order understand this one now tell me if i write like this one proc sort data is equal to data set name which is sas help dot class this is the data set i want to sort out is equal to i want to have sorted data in the new data set called class 3 by i am writing name you know what is going to happen name is a character variable so the names which starts with a will come first then b then c and we are going to have up to z now we are going to have a class 3 data set understand this one so now can you see we have alfred first 
then at least barbara carol henry because the now the data will be arranged rearranged based on the name values clear everybody could you able to follow sir yes data is equal to work akada work dot class rasna accept chestu ha mere work default ko work ka abadi mere work ka is avasaram ledhu you can add only class already manaki class status set undi kada undi kaakapothe meeku ee nek original lesson original lesson undan chupinchin kosam status level ni teeskuntunnanu status level original data set untundi so akkane teeskuntunnaru kaani new data set ekkada create chestanu ippudu class 3 i'm creating one library one library so you can get the data from one library and you can create a new data set in a different library also understand this one everybody no i am writing a discussion i am writing prop sort data is equal to i am writing sas help dot class and i am creating a new data set i am creating new data set called class 4 then somebody tell me what will happen if i write the by 6 How the data will be get rearranged? Yes. Mm -hmm. After all, 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 all the nine females first, then all the way. You mean ten males? Now, see, we have a class four, and this is how we have nine females first, then ten males. Now, what I am doing is in the by statement, are the sex available? I am writing age available. That means when you are sorting in the by statement, we can write two variables. When you write two variables, then what will happen? How the data is going to get sorted? Now within the sex of variable, now the age variable will be get sorted. So that means we are going to have you know nine females first like this one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we are going to have you know ten males. Within the females, you know what is going to happen. Now we are going to have within the females, we are going to have age eleven one member, and then we are going to have age twelve two members. Then we have an age thirteen two members. Then we are going to have age fourteen two members, and then we are going to have age fifteen two members. This is how we are going to have. Now within the males again, what we are going to have now eleven years one member, and then twelve years three members, and then we are going to have thirteen years only one member, and then we are going to have fourteen years two members. Then we are going to have fifteen years two members. Then we are going to have sixteen year one member. So that means how the data will be get sorted now? If you specify two variables in the by statement, the first variable will be get sorted hundred percent. Now within the first variable, now the second variable will be get sorted. Within the sex, age will be get sorted. So within the females, you will get eleven to fifteen, and again within the males. You will get from you know eleven to sixteen. Understand this one? Now see, I am writing two variables now. I am selecting this program, executing it. Now we have a class four data set. Open the class four. Now can you see we have nine females within the nine females? Can you see what we have? Eleven, then twelve, then thirteen, fourteen, and then fifteen. And within the males again, we have eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Sir, will it be the same case if we give age first and sex later? Then tell me if we write age first then sex, what will happen? Now I am writing prop sort data is equal to sas help dot class out is equal to I want to have a class five data set now by age then I am writing the sex semi colon run. You know we have eleven years two members so first eleven years will be get sorted then we have twelve years five members. Then we have a thirteen years of three members. Then we have fourteen years of four members. Then we have fifteen years, of, you know, four members. Then we have sixteen year only one member. Okay. Now, so within the eleven years, we have one female, one male. Then what will happen now? You will get a female first. Then you will get the male. You know, out of five twelve years, we have two females and three males. Then what you will get now? You will get two females first. Then what you are going to get now? We are going to have you know three males. Then thirteen years we have two females and one male. So two F will get first. Then we are going to have one F. 
and in fertile we have two males and two females so first we will get both the females then first then after that we are going to have male and again in 15 years so we have two females and two males so females first then you will have two males and then 16 years we have only one male that will get like this so that means now the data will be get started first of all and based on which variable age variable within the years within the years sex variable Within the years, sex variable. Now see, if I select the program and execute it, yes, I have a class wide data set. Now, don't see the order. First, see what we have. First of all, eleven years. 11. In the eleven years, we have female and male. First, what we have? Female. Yeah, then we have male. And twelve years, five members. Within the twelve years, we have two females. So two females first, then three males. Understand this one? So, in the by statement, whichever variable you have written in the first position, that variable will be get sorted hundred percent. Within that variable, now you will have the second variable, and then third variable, and then fourth variable within that within that. Now tell me what will happen if I write like this one? I am writing proxa data is equal to sas help dot class. Then I am writing out is equal to class six. Now I am writing by sex space age space height. Tell me what will happen now? First the females come and then after the males. First the females come. This is how we are going. Within the females, first we are going to have. In the females, we get the age ascending part. Very good. Now we'll see. Now we are going to have the sex variable first. Then we are going to have an age variable. Now within that age, then what is the next one that is going to get sorted now? Height. 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 So now see, female eleven years only one member, not a problem. You know, female we have two twelve years. Okay. Now female twelve first, female twelve second, right? Now within the female, these two, female twelve, whichever contains the lowest height, that lowest height will come first, and then what we are going to have now? We are going to have a highest height. Isn't it? अंडे ट्वेल्थ इयर्स लो मल्ली ये वाला सॉर्ट आउट नहीं नहीं लोएस्ट हाइट नॉर्मल फर्स्ट ऑफ सॉर्ट विथ इन द लोएस्ट तगड़ा देवर सर निपुण नहीं करता नेक्स्ट हाईएस्ट हाइट हाईएस्ट हाइट और विथ इन द जेंडर इज विथ इन द इयर्स हाइट विल बी कर सॉर्टेड नाउ सी इफ आई सेलेक्ट द प्रोग्राम इज गुड द प्रोग्राम नाउ आई एम सॉरी आई एम गोइंग टू हैव क्लास 6 ओपन द क्लास 6 नाउ कैन यू सी फर्स्ट वी हैव नाइन फीमेल नाउ विथ इन द नाइन फीमेल्स वी हैव 11 इयर्स पर्स then within the female like can you see what we have 12 years now since we have both 12 years which one is going to come first now 56.3 height then we have you know 59.3 because 56 is the lowest height and then 59 is the high, next highest height understand this one so and if the data basis for section basis was start out to the within the gender age out to the within the same only age like the same values and anko only Within the year, level sort out there, Pudu. Height sort out there. Height sort. So in the real time, sometimes you are going to get six or seven variables also in the by statement. So if you write the seven variables, first the first one will be get in this scenario. See, first variable hundred percent will be get sorted. Within that age is going to be fifty percent. Within the age, now the height is going to be twenty five percent. The next level is going to be twelve point five. The next level is going to be six point two five. And in that way, within that, within that, within that, that is how the data is going to get sorted. Understand this one? Everybody clear with this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, now again, tell me if I write a proc sort data is equal to sas help dot class out is equal to I am writing class seven. Tell me by sex ten what will happen now? Anybody? How we are going to have females the data? First. Females, females, females. Then because of sex is a character variable. By default, it's an A to Z, so female will come first, then male. And you know that one, right? Now, see, if for confirmation, I'm executing this program. Yes, we'll have a class seven. Now we'll get a nine females first, then we'll get the ten males. But now I do not want to have in this way. I want to have males first, 
then I want to have my females. Now, if you want to have a males first, that means I want to have from Z to A in descending order. If you want to have a descending order, you know what we should do in the by statement. Now, before the variable, you should write a keyword called descending. By default, it is going to be ascending. When you want to have ascending, you no need to write anything. But if you want to have a descending order, now you should write a by descending the variable. Now, if I execute this program, now the sex is going to get based on the sex descending order, the data will be get rearranged. Now, if I open the class seven, now can you see what we have? Now we have, you know, nine, sorry, 10 males first, then we have a nine females. Understand this one? Now, if I didn't write the descending by default, what you are going to have? Ascending. Mm -hmm. Now, I am writing the program like this one. I am writing proxor. Data is equal to class help dot class. Out is equal to I am writing class eight. Then I am writing, you know, by six spaces. Can somebody tell me how the data is going to get rearranged? First sorted by say, sex variable, then go to age variable. Uh, within the females, we get the Sending order. Yes, yes, we are going to get 11 to 15. Now, within the males, again, we will get 11 to 16. But yeah. both will be in ascending order. First sex, within the sex, age will be get a Right? Yes, sir. Now, I am writing like this one. If I tell me, if I write by sex, what will happen? Sorted by age 11, 12, okay. ascending, order. ascending order to 16. But I want to have from 16 to 11. Descending. 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 Now you are going to have 16 years first. Then after that, what you are going to have now? Then 15, then 14, then 13, and then 12. And we are going to have an 11 year stage. So that means uh, now that it is a change in numerical variable, now the data is going to be in descending order 16 to 11. Now I'm writing proxor. Data is equal to SAS help dot class. Then out is equal to class 9. Then I'm writing by sex is. You know that if I put this program, now the data will be get sorted by gender. Now within the gender, yes. Now tell me, now I'm writing like this one. Before the sex, I am writing, you know, descending. What will happen now? Now we are going to have, you know, we are going to have 10 males first. We are going to have, you know, 10 males first. What we are going to have now? Yes. Then we are going to have a nine females. Right. Now, but uh, sex is going to be descending. That is okay. But how, we, how about the age? Age variable is going to be ascending order. That means within the base, what we are going to get now, we are going to have 11 years first. Then we are going to have a 3, 12 years. Then we are going to have a 13 years, one member. Then we are going to have a 14 years, two members. Then we are going to have 15 years or two members. Then we are going to have 16 years. So that means sex is in descending order, but age is going to be in ascending order. So within the males, within the males, age is going to be in ascending order. Now see, we have a class nine. Now can you see? Now we have males first, but within the males, can you see how we have the age? Age is in ascending. And again, within the females, we have age in ascending order. Now tell me what is going to happen. Now, I want to have like this one. Now, within the males, I want to have 16 years first. Then 15 years, then 14, then 13, then 12, then 11. I want to have like this one. Then again, within the females, I want to have 16 first and then 11 last. If you want to have in that way, you know what we are going to do? We are going to descending sex, then we are going to specify, you know, descending is. So 
you will get a males first and females later now within the males age is going to be in descending order that means from 16 to 11 both are going to be in descending order now now see if i select the program is good the program yes we have any class 9 data set open the class and can you see now within the males we have 16 to 11 again within the females we are going to have 15 to 11 so that means both the variables are descending even it is both the variables descending you have to write the descending keyword separately for both the variables now tell me what will happen if i write a program like this one now what will happen if i write a program like this one? Sex, sex now sex is going to be by default under that means we are going to have you know nine females first then what we are going to have after that one now we are going to have an 10 males hmm then within the sex where within the sex age is, is going to be in you know, descending order now we are going to have 15 years first then we are going to have you know so 215 years first then we are going to have in you know, 14 years then we are going to have you know 13 12 and 11 and again within the years how we are going to get now we are going to have 16 years then we are going to have 15 years then we are going to have 14 you know 13 12 and we are going to have 11 so so that means uh, age is going sex is going to be in ascending order but uh, age is going to be in descending order now we have a class n okay so within the females we have 15 to 11 within the males we have you know 16 to 11 understand this on everybody yes sir Writing a program on this one. Proc sort data is equal to sas help dot class out is equal to I am writing class one by underscore char underscore. Tell me what is going to happen. Now the sas help dot class is going to get sorted by all character variables of the data set. What are the character variables that we have in the sas help dot class? Name variable, sex variable. A variable and a sex variable. So first, the data will be get sorted based on the name. Within the name, sex, sex variable. But you won't find much difference. You know why? Because we have all names are unique names. Only one one names. Allah talk on the same name two times and then go and leave. Within that, now the sex it is going to get sorted by sex. But all my names are only unique names. You cannot find much difference. Now. If I write the program like this one, now what is going to be specified? For example, by underscore numeric underscore. You know what is going to happen if I write underscore numeric underscore? Now the data is going to sorted by by all the numerical variables. Mm -hmm. What are the numerical variables that we have in SAS self data class? Age, height, height, and weight. Now the data is going to get sorted as ascending order. Now within the as Now the data is going to get so. Okay, within the age, now it will be you know it will be get to done by like an height. So within the age, the same height on the other side. Within the height, now the data will be get sorted in weight. Weight. Say so for example, if I have fifty one point three two members, within the two members, so whoever scored lowest height that will come first. Highest height will go later. So within the age height, within the height weight will be get sorted. Now tell me what will happen if I write specific say for example by underscore all underscore. Now the data is going to get sorted by all the variables of the data. So first we have a name variable within the name sex, within the sex is within the age height and within the height weight will be get sorted. But you cannot find much difference because you know first variable is a name variable. All ninety names are unique names. Now name can be same only. Within that name, sex is going to be get sorted. Within that, if we have same sex variables, within that age will be get sorted. Now within that we have same age, within that height will be get sorted. If we have the same height, then it it will be get sorted by weight. But uh, the first value itself itself is a unique value, so so you cannot find much difference when you write like this one for sex and blood class. 
Understand this one, everybody. Clear, everyone? Sir. Okay. Now, this is a one side of proc sort procedure. Tell me what the main purpose of proc sort procedure? To rearrange observations based on bivariable value. This is one thing. But the most important function of proc sort procedure is proc sort is a very important procedure to remove duplicate observations. We use a proc sort procedure to clean the data, to remove the duplicate observations. How to remove the duplicate observations? Now see, I'm writing this one. Proc sort. Data is equal to, sorry, data is equal to SAS help dot class. Then out is equal to I'm writing the class one. Now tell me, I'm writing the bisects. Tell me how the data is going to be in the class one. That's said anybody. How the data is going to be in the SAS? Now, in the proc sort of procedure, after in the out is equal to class, now I'm writing a new option called, you know, no dupe key. No dupe key. And what this no dupe key can do and will do, this no dupe key will treat an observation as a duplicate observation based on the bivariable value. So, no dupe key option will treat an observation as in a duplicate based on the bivariable value. So, in the bivariable, in the by statement, what are the variables that we have? Sex variable. Right. You know, in the sex variable, if we have the same value for this next time, now the no dupe key will treat it as an a duplicate observation. Now tell me how many times we have F in SAS and that class? Nine times. Now the no dupe key will treat first time as an unique, the remaining eight times it will treat as a duplicate and it will remove the remaining eight occurrences of female. Do you know how many times we have male in the SAS and that class? Ten times. Ten times. Ten times, sorry. Now what is the no dupe key will do? The no dupe key will treat the first occurrence as a unique, the remaining nine occurrences will treat as a duplicate. Now tell me, if that is the case, how many observations I am going to have in the class one? Only two observations. Two observations. Okay, we have only two unique observations. Now can you see, I have only one observation from the female and one observation from the male. So that means the remaining 17 observations are duplicates because what no dupe key will do? The no dupe key will treat an observation as a duplicate observation if we have the same bivariable value for the next time, for the second time. Now, what happened to the remaining 17 observations? The remaining 17 observations have been deleted. But I do not want to lose the data. I want to have those duplicate observations into a data set. If you want to have those duplicate observations into a data set, now we are going to use an option called dupe out is equal to. Dupe out is equal to data set name. Now, whatever the data set name that you have written, now all the duplicate observations will come into this data set. Now tell me, if I execute the program, how many I'm going to have in the class one and how many I'm going to have in the temp one? In the class one, class I'm one. going to have two observations yes. and the next 17 observations will be in temp one. In template. Clear everybody? Very, very important interview question. Now I am writing like this one. Proc sort. Data is equal to SAS help dot class. Out is equal to class 2. I am writing, you know, no dupe key. I am writing no dupe key. And then I am writing, you know, dupe out is equal to temp2. Now I am writing, you know, I'm writing temp2. Now I'm writing phi is. Tell me how many I will get into class two and how many I will get into temp2. Five. Five observations. Five. How like this one? You know, we have 11. I will tell you. We have 11 two times. 
okay and we have a 12 five times we have 13 three times we have 14 four times we have 15 four times okay and we have 16 one time total 19 observations tell me how many i'm going to have in the class two in class two 16 uh, five, uh, 19 each, each one time in Nine, class 2, 6 observations. In class 2, 6 observations. Class 2, 13 observations. So in the class 2, I am going to have a 6 observations because when we have a 2 from 11, first time it will treat as a unique. If you have the same for second time, it will treat as a duplicate. So total we have a 12, 5 times. First time, original remaining 4 times, duplicate. So that means how many I'm going to have in the class two? I am going to have six observations. Six observations. And six remaining 13 observations are going to be duplicate. Now select the program and execute the program. Yes, I have in a class two. In the class two, now can you say I have six of the one from each age group? The remaining 13 will be the duplicates. Understand this one? Everybody clear? So can we have two variables yes. when we are using node of the end? We'll see that one. Now I'm writing proxor. Data is equal to, I'm writing sas help dot class. I'm writing out is equal to class three. Then I'm writing node of key. Then I'm writing, you know, dupe out is equal to temp three. But I'm writing by name. How many I will get in the class three and how many I will get into temp three? Total names are eighteen in total nineteen observations in class three, zero observations in class three, zero in temp three. Temp three because we do not have any name for the second time. So you will have a zero observations in the temp three, but all nineteen in class three. Class three. And in the temp three, you will have a zero observations. Understand this one? I am writing prox sort. Data is equal to sas help dot class. Out is equal to I am writing say for example class four. Okay. Now I am writing by sex is. Tell me how the data is going to get sorted. First one. Email. Six variables sorted by nine members after mail. Ten members. Ascending order in A's. Now within the females, we are going to have eleven to fifteen. And within the males, we are going to have eleven to sixteen. That's how the data is going to get sorted, right? Everybody clear? Yes, now I have a class four, and this is how we have in the class four. We have, you know, nine females. Within the nine females, I have eleven to fifteen, and within the males, I have eleven to sixteen. Clear so far? Now I am writing an option called no do key. I am writing, say, for example, you know. Dope out is equal to I am rating temp four. Now, what the no dupe key will do? What is the definition for no dupe key? It it will treat an observation as a duplicate observation if the same by variable value repeating for the second time. But in the by statement, I have written two variables. Now, can you tell me before writing the no dupe key how the data is going to be? In SAS help data class, if I sort it by sex and age, how I'm going to have? We are going to have two, three, four, five, six, nine, seven, ten, ten males. Nine females, ten males. Within the sex. Within the sex. Age will be sorted. Now within the sex, we are going to have eleven as one member. Only as two members. Then we are going to have 13 years with two members. Then we are going to have 14 years with two members. 
then we are going to have 15 years so two members and then we are going to have six years one member then we have 11 years one member then 12 years three members then we have a 13 year only one member then 14 two members then we are going to have 15 two members and then we are going to have six year one member this is how we are going to get sorted now since i have a no loop key you know what this no loop key will do if sex and age values are repeating at the same time in the second observation then it will treat it as a duplicate observation and then two variables are saying if a no loop key changes both the variables should be same and it should be get repeated for the second time if both the variable values are repeated for the second time then it will treat it as a duplicate observation now can you tell me what is the first observation i have here female 11 11 years and uh, female 12 how many times we have female 12 two times two times now this will be duplicate now how many times we have female 13 two times two times the second one second one will become duplicate and female 14 we have two times the second will be duplicate female 15 two times this will be duplicate female 16 only one time that is worth that and male 11 only one time but male 12 we have total three times so the second time and third time will be duplicate and male 13 only one time but male 14 two times so second time is a duplicate and male 15 two times the second one is duplicate and we have male 6 now tell me how many variables i'm going to have in the class 4 and how many duplicates i'm going to have in the camp 4 Class for 19 observation. Two what? How much class for 19 attendance was standing? 10, 4, 8, 11 in class 4. Yes. Remaining 8. 11, sir. 12. In the class 4, remaining 8 will be. 10, 4. 10. In the program, into the program. Now I'm going to have a class four. In the class four, I'm going to have 11 observation, and in the temp four, I'm going to have the remaining eight observation. So that means that when you write a two variables in the by statement, now how the node loop key will work? Both the variables must be get repeated for the second time in the same observation. Then only it will treat as a duplicate observation. Understand this one? I three variables. All the three variables that should be get repeated for the second time. Then only it will treat it as a duplicate observation. Understand this one? So this is how no dupe key will work. Clear everybody? How we can define how the no dupe key? It will treat an observation as a duplicate observation in the same bivariable value repeating for the sec next time. But if you rate only one variable, it searches for only one variable value. But if you specify two variables and both the variable values must be the same simultaneously in the next observation. Understand this one? Okay. Now, after the no dupe key, the next option that we have is, you know, no dupe rec. And you can also write as an A, no dupe. And you can also write as an A, no duplicate. All three are same. No dupe rec means no duplicate record, no dupe or no duplicate. Now, I want to sort the data. I am writing proc sort. Data is equal to sas help dot class. Out is equal to I'm writing the class one data set. Now I'm writing an option called no dupe rec. Then I'm writing now dupe out is equal to I'm writing you know temp one. I'm removing all my old data sets now, first of all, from the work library. Now then I'm writing so for example by sex. You know what is the no dupe rec will do? The no dupe rec will treat an observation is a duplicate if the entire observation is a duplicate. 
What do you mean by entire observation? That means all the five variable values must be duplicated in the same observation. Then only it will treat an observation as a duplicate. But anyway, then in this, you know, why I'm writing a by sex? I want to rearrange based on the sex variable, sex variable. But uh, what is the no duplicate will do? It will treat an observation as a duplicate if all the variable values are same. If the entire observation is same. Do we have any such observation in the class and class? All the five variable values are same. No, sir. No, sir. No. We do not have such observation. That's why now if I put this program, how many will get in the class one now? 19. All 19, 19 will come into class one and you're going to have zero observations in the temple because no duplicate will treat an observation as a duplicate only when the entire observation is a duplicate. And hey, you go to any first observation, second observation could identical and the variable could same value. I don't know how many times they ask this question in the interview. Very, very important. What is the difference between no dupe key and a no dupe? Or no dupe key or no duplicate? Can somebody tell me what is the difference between no dupe key and a no duplicate? No dupe key will treat an observation as a duplicate based on the bivariable value. If the same bivariable value repeating for the second time, it will treat it as a duplicate. But what is the no duplicate will do? It will treat an observation as a duplicate only when the entire observation is a duplicate. Understand this one? Yes. Okay. Now see. Purposefully, I am creating a data set like this one. Data, class, set, sas help dot class. Again, sas help dot class. Can you tell me what is this procedure? What is this program? Anybody? Two times. We said two times? What is this procedure? What is this program? Merge to data by set statement. Congratulations. Set set to merge into the And this is called concatenation. This is called concatenation. Combining two or more data sets into one data set, one after the other by using a set statement is called concatenation. Now tell me, if I execute this program, how many observations I'm going to have in the class one, class data set? Thirty-eight. 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 Nineteen plus nineteen, thirty-eight. Nobody is reviewing that. Revise, revise, chat, let me I have a class that said where I have a 38 observations. Now, because in the set statement, I'm writing SAS help that class two times. Uh, can you tell me from where we got this 19 observations? SAS help that class. From the first data set. And again, from where we got this second 19 observations also? Yes, now tell me which two observations are duplicate observations, same observations in this data set. Second first time, and 20th and 20, then first, first, 20, second and 21st. first observation and 20th observation are same because concatenation is going to combine one after the other. So these first 19 observations from the SAS subdata class, one data set, again, these 19 observations from the second time. So that means the first observation and the 20th observation will be the same. And the second observation, Louis, and the 21st observation is the same. So that means in this, uh, the same observation, we have two, two times. Right? We can say 
this is the original observation and this is the duplicate observation because we have each observation two two times bindu can you keep your mic on mute okay now i am sorting this data set first of all now i am writing like this one proc sort data is equal to what the data set right now we have class now i am writing out is equal to class 1 then i am writing you know no dupe key then i am writing you know dupe out is equal to i am writing a temp 1 now i am writing bisects tell me how many i am going to have in the class 1 how, how many i am going to have in the temp 1 class 1 we have no. two observations sir and in the temp 1 19 19 20 36 36 observations 36 observations because in the class right now we have a 38 observations after the concatenation since i'm writing a bisects and no dupe key no dupe key will treat an observation as duplication duplicate based on the by variable so that means we are going to have f 18 times m 20 times so one one time is going to be original the remaining 36 are going to be duplicate class one we have only two and the temp one we have remaining 36 now i am not writing no dupe key i am writing no dupe then tell me how many original and how many duplicates 19 original 19 duplicates 19 original 19 19 duplicates so that means we should get 19 in the class 1 and 19 in temp 1 now see if i execute the program now we are going to have a class 1 temp 1 i am trying to open the class 1 we have 38 observations i am trying to open the temp 1 we have zero observation you know why tell me sorted if i if i sort by sex what is the scenario in the class one now after sorting by sex how many if i am going to have 9 let me take 18 You have eight in female. Then how many males we are going to have? Twenty. Just tell me, in this eighteen females, which two observations are duplicate? I am not showing you the entire observation. If you take entire observation into consideration, which two observations are duplicate? After sorting by sex, do you want to be show the class one data set? Which two observations are duplicate now? Where we have that one? First observation, Louis. First observation. The next where we have the next observation, Louis. Where we have the Louis for the second time? Louis is in second place and eleventh one, sir. Eleventh one. Joyce, think the Joyce. Tenth is Joyce. I am going to start the second tenth. In the first one, tenth answer. First one. Why? Why is Joyce is second? Joyce second Joyce is in tenth position. Hmm. Why it is in second position? Sorry, tenth position. We sorted by six. So we sorted by six. Okay, so. No, very good. When I sorted by six, you know what is going to happen? This is the original data set, right? these female three these three females will come first then these two then this one then this one then these two and then these three and then these two right so that means uh, when i'm sorting by sex uh, you know the first data 19 observations will females will come first then we are going to have the next data set 19 observations female you know nine females will come second remember one very important thing if a no dupe no dupe or a no duplicate or a no duprec will treat an observation as a duplicate when the entire observation is duplicate and not only that one both the observation should be one after the other so observation anta duplicate ay undalandi danto pad observation undi ekkada undali one not one after the other then only it will treat it as a duplicate but do we have one after the other here in the class one now no No, the sir. first observation and the tenth observation are duplicates, and the second one and the eleventh one is duplicate. So, if you want to keep the 
this one and this one one after the other what we should do we name short by name sir If they sort by name, now both the Joyces are going to come at one place. Both the Alfreds and the Phillips are going to get in one place. Now see, if I sort by name, now both the observations. Before I am writing this one, I will execute the program one time. Then I will write the no dope. You know, I'll do that one later. See, if I sort by name, now can you see in the class one how we have the data now? Now we have both Alfreds at one place. Then at least two observation, then Barbara. So that means uh, now, if you think this is the original, now this is going to be the duplicate. Now say what I'm going to do. Now I am writing no dupe, and then I'm writing the dupe out. Now tell me how many we are going to have in the class one? Now how many we are going to have in the temp one? Now I'm going to have nineteen. In, in class one, we have nineteen observations. Nineteen. 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 So when the no dupe is going to treat an observation as duplicate? Uh, obviously both should entire. be the same entire observation should be the same and at the same time both the observation should be one after one the other then only it will treat as a duplicate even the entire observation is duplicate if if those are not one after the other it cannot treat it as a duplicate observation understand this one everybody clear I can't tell you how important this is in interview point of view and the real time point of view. So definitely, out of every two students, one student is going to get this question in the interview. Difference between no dupe, no dupe, no dupe key, or no dupe rec, no dupe, no dupe key, or no duplicate, or no dupe key. Okay, okay then. See you in tomorrow's class.